Good afternoon, everyone. Trust you're all having a good day. Hmm. Someone I know sent me this message. I've had tons of messages and calls and after yesterday's video. He said, what gets me is the sense of entitlement and arrogance that abusers exhibit in Nigeria. It needs to change. I couldn't have said it any better. The arrogance, the, the sheer temerity to still come out in public and try to merge and hang with people who are not as sick as you lot. The system in Nigeria especially oh, helps them hide in plain sight. They're in plain sight. The executive, the TV station owner, the doctor, the lawyer, you know, and it's male and female. I had two males send me DMs yesterday about abuse, but the men are not speaking up about it. They're not speaking enough. They are not speaking. Statistics are more females are being harassed, abused, violated, raped. But also men are being violated and raped. So why are the men not speaking? A society where it's the victim we blame. So when they ask you, what are you, what were you wearing before he raped you? What about children? What about babies? It needs to change. We need to have more drastic, stringent punishment for people like these. Punishment that will act as a true deterrent. We are shouting and raising our voices until we can't speak anymore, until we are hoarse. It's a terrible thing. Who then can you trust when you open up yourself, your body, to somebody in trust? It brought to mind that video of that anesthesiologist in, uh, in the U.S. somewhere where... The lady was under, she was having uh, an operation, and he opened his trousers and put his member in her mouth to give himself a blowjob. A patient who was under, didn't know what was happening. Ah, that video, my goodness. There's some punishment like castration, cutting off the member. Those kind of things are the ones that should be what we are advocating for because you destroy your life you are worse than a murderer at least murderer will come kill you go your own you are ah. no we need better laws Lagos state i hope people are alive to the responsibility because i've always held you people your domestic and sexual violence response team is like one of the best if not the best in the whole country i know a kitty state and maybe somewhere in the north as well but i mean and then women, some of you women, you condone these things. Your husbands do it, your, your, your brother does it, and you hide it. I've always said it, most of the atrocities in this country, especially, I only speak about Nigeria because this is all I know. Women are the gatekeepers to these atrocities. Female genital mutilation, it's women. Uh, rape and abuse, they will rape your daughter. You will not tell her to keep quiet. They will rape your niece. You will not say they should keep quiet. They will rape your cousin. You say, take it easy, please. Women are the gatekeepers. Widowhood. Women are the gatekeepers. What is tradition? Tradition is a group of people coming together and saying, this is who we are. So why can't it change for the betterment of a society? So that everyone can, can be okay. People that go through this stuff, when they behave somewhere, we don't even know what causes it, but we need to look into their past. It's a terrible thing. This is what the National Assembly should be looking at. But anytime it come, has to do with women, they are uh, maybe they self inside there. I'm sure. I'm sure. On direct marriage in the north. Women, because they too have gone through it. Why won't you give her so the child? Give her. That's our culture. So that's why there's VVF over there. 
plus our own here. Why? It's evil. We need more stringent laws. We need to change the system where the victim is now the one hiding and the perpetrator roams free like everything is honky-dory. I will not stop speaking. If it's a lone voice in the wilderness, so shall it be. But it will be a voice.